Sure. No, I don't want to be in front of the camera. I don't like being in front of the camera. Are you camera I shy? Do. No, I just don't like being in front of the camera. Why? Because I don't like to. Why? Oh, wait, what do you, want to do? you don't have to do anything. Just sit there. Just sit. Just sit, Rich. And I, I want you to watch our show. Why? I'm gonna watch it later. Anyway. No, no, sit, I Betsy. Sit, sit, sit down, Betsy. Sit Come down. Come on, Rich. Play sit down. Sit. No, seriously, sit. Good dog. Rough. Come on. No, <laughs> we're gonna need your input. Yeah, well, yeah. Cause right now, a top pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy is here. I'm Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Frat. And we're doing the top three Batman ever to date. Here's the criteria. Live action only. No animated. Sorry, Bruce Tim. Sorry, anyone else. Live action only. Because guess what? Everyone's favorite Batman is fucking Batman animated Batman, yeah. an animated series. Yeah. Everyone is, okay? So, guess what? No animated Batman. We all recognize he's the best. And the story. We're cool. talking live action Batman. Here's the other criteria. It has to be, you can't be like, oh, well, you're a good Batman, but you're a shitty Bruce Wayne. It's overall the best Batman and Bruce Wayne combo, which is a, that's, that's really where the question gets tough. So it's a top three out of six. Good. Whatever. A top three Batman to date. Now, gra granted, they're talking about Jake Gyllenhaal and what's the other guy's name from, uh, from, Ham. yeah, John Ham. Is it John Ham? John Ham? Yep. Which I think John Hamm should totally be the new Batman, but you know, because he was great in Baby Driver. Um, uh, but anyways, so top three Batman. We asked Batsy. Oh, do you finally saw Baby Driver? I saw Baby Driver. What do you think? Uh, it was good, but not great. I thought the really? end. I thought the end was fucked up, dude. You didn't like the end? No, like Kevin Spacey's all of a sudden like his friend, like wants to kill him. That was great. That was a great no, twist, though. No, no, it wasn't a twist. It, it made no sense. What do you think of the music? Music was all right. Okay. But the driving scenes were amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Listen, so, top three Batman right here. We asked Batsy to come on because Bat Batsy, you know, not only do we call him Batsy because he's fucking Batsy, but, uh, but like, like he's in the Batman, like, hardcore. I love Batman. Batsy, how big is your Batman collection? Too big. What does too big mean? Too big. What does too big mean? Connecting since 89. You've been collecting since 89. It's 2018 right now, which is 29 years. Years. But it, yeah, but it goes back okay. as far as the sixties. But it goes back as far as the sixties. Don't you have the whole run of Detective Comics? No, Amazing Spider-Man, not Detective. Oh, I mean that's still, still missing like two hundred issues for Detective. That's still pretty big, but anyways, yeah. yeah. Um. So, oh yeah, you're never gonna get number one. No, I don't want number one. You mean Detective Twenty Seven? You're never gonna get Detective One. Uh, unless I win the lottery, sure. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, um. <laughs> so, not working here. I'm not. Um. So, uh. So Batsy, Batsy loves Batman. Uh, how many rooms are committed to your? You have two rooms committed to your Batman inventory. Is it in boxes stacked to the ceiling? No, not yet. Because nothing's on. Nothing's on display, kids. Oh yes, it is. Oh, you have stuff on display. Of course, about let's say about seventy percent of it. Is oh really? I'm sorry, I'm totally wrong there. You should you should show us pictures of your insanity. Ah, yeah. Oh my God. So. We asked him to come on because I'm sure he has some strong opinions, but he's being camera shy. I don't know. Whatever. So, top three Batman, live action only. We may have the same list. We may not have the same list. What's your number three? Adam West. Why? Huh? Why? Because it's none of the other three. There's like five or six of them. I, I'm, obviously, I'm really against this topic. I think it's boring. But why? What do you mean? You're, I think are you against Batman? It's Adam West because it's not George Clooney, because it's not Val Kilmer. This is a horrible answer. Say why. Justify your Adam Westage. Well, so Adam West was our first live Batman. The first live incarnation no. of Batman. 1940s serials. So yeah, 1940s serials. Batsy knows. Batsy knows. Look, man. I used to watch him as a kid. I thought he was Batman. <laughs> He had the best Batmobile. Done. My my number three is Adam West as well. <laughs> yeah, because it can't be Val Kilmer. Because 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 for every reason why Wansky said because Adam West, you know, like he really brought Batman into the, the to the mainstream into the into the homes of. It was the most comic people. You know what? It was also you know what? It was comic. It, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's great and, for kids. It was um. It was innocent, man. Yeah, it really, really was. Uh, with with the only proper uh, live action version of Robin accompanying him, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it, hence, yeah. Boy, um, my favorite character. Um, 
Yeah, and and yeah, it, I don't know if it's the best Batmobile. It's I I juggle between that and 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 yeah. the Tim Burton Batmobile. Tim Burton Batmobile is actually yeah. Good. But anyways, uh, so what do you think about Adam West Batsy? Yeah, Batsy is that is oh he's higher up he does wow. oh, so, so what's your what 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 oh, no what you can't no no wait, we, okay. he doesn't want to get in camera fuck him no. no so what's your number two my number two is Keaton Keaton oh shit dude you and I are gonna fight go on um. I can't believe you. I I can't believe you right now. Fuck you. Just I, I just talk. I gotta get a drink. Fuck. So Steve Steve is going to talk about Keaton when he talks about his number one. So I don't really have to say that much. Oh my god. Keaton also had a really awesome Batmobile. Oh my god. Keaton was great, man. He was great. He was. Oh my god. He was the best Batman in the suit. I can't believe you right now. Keen was definitely the best Batman in the suit. Oh my um, god. Reason he's not number one for me is because I don't think he's the best Bruce, Bruce Wayne oh by far. God. Was not the best Bruce Wayne. Oh my god. I mean, he got outshined by Jack Nicholson. Oh it's my crazy. god. Are you done? Mm hmm. Oh God! I have a, I have a slight headache now. I'm not even His making that up. Two is my I have a key. slightly I have a slight headache. Oh. What's your number two? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck <laughs> surprised the fuck out of me and everyone. You know. Uh, it, Betsy says this is number three. Although we don't care because he's so a camera show. So you're Ben Affleck, Keaton, Adam West. Okay. Um. Adam West and Keaton. Uh. Um. Um. So. <laughs> ben Affleck did a great job. I don't think there's any denying that. Uh. You know the whole like the way that he spoke in the Batman voice with the gargly voice was explained when Jeremy Irons was working on hit the the suit and 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 the voice modulator, which I I liked that I liked seeing that because I hated the other uh, uh, thing about it. Uh, and his Bruce Wayne was great. He was cocky yet he was suave. He was like like a little funny when he wanted to be, but business at the same time too. And and he looked the part and and. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was that uh, he would he should have been clean shaven. I didn't I don't like scruffy Bruce Wayne. He should have been clean shaven, um, and and uh, but other than that, and, and I've got, on top of that, like he he was out of shape in Justice League. Like he was fucking ripped in Batman vs Superman, yeah. doing like you know like everything, and then in, in Justice League, like 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 he he did not he, he didn't do much in Justice League. But but still. Um, Number two, Batman Bruce Wayne combo for sure goes to Ben Affleck, uh, in my opinion. All right, now, list your number one so I can go kill myself. My number one is Ben Affleck as oh. Batman. Really? In Batman oh, my versus God. I, I so thought you were going to say Christian Bale. Oh, my God. Ugh. No, of course not. Like, oh, my say. God. Oh, my God. I so thought you were going to say Christian Bale, and I was about to fucking, like, throw up in my fucking shirt right here. Oh, my God. <sighs> I should have said Christian Bale. Oh my God! <laughs> if I would have known. All right, why? What? Go on, talk about Ben Ben Affleck. Everything again. It was surprising because everyone was talking tons of shit. I was talking. We yeah. were all where everyone was. <laughs> um, it was really surprising. Um, I like him for all the reasons you did, uh, which would I think um it kind of Justice League made that so much wor a worse movie for me just because he was so different. He was so terrible. Compared to how good he was, he had chemistry in the first one as as Bruce Wayne chemistry. I liked his chemistry with uh, with uh, Wonder Woman. I thought that was fantastic. Um, I really do love the uh, Michael Keaton bat suit, but um, I I I like the the bat suit in Batman vs Superman a little more. I hate it. I, hate I liked it. it. Um, I liked um I like Batman. One of my favorite one of my favorite things about Batman was in the dream sequence. Um, where he goes into that building and clears out the building with like a shotgun, like that was the coolest thing I've ever seen Batman do. No, the um, the action in BVS was yeah. fucking it was, hands yeah. hands down. Like Zack Snyder, Zack mm. Snyder nailed the essence of right. what Batman needs to do. Yeah, Batman's fighting in Batman vs Superman was the best we've ever seen from Batman. It's crazy when you look back on. It's even a shame that wasn't. In Justice League, yeah, they they, really they missed did. the ball. There. They, they, they really did. did. When you look back at some of these Batman like w in movies, um, like in the trilogy, the Christopher Nolan trilogy, right? It's basically he's gonna fight someone, and, like they zoom in, and all you see is fucking like elbows and shit like flying around. This one, like you saw Batman doing it all, and it was great. It was really well choreographed. Uh, another thing I really liked about that Batman is because we have an older Batman, right? We're past the point where he needs to be a playboy and be out there as a playboy as much. Yeah, Obviously, he's, he's almost on like the. 
like approaching the Batman Beyond right. era. Right, and, and that's what I want because I want to see a Batman Beyond Bat- like Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Like, I want to see him Bring older. back Keaton. Right. I, I don't want to see his, them do the, the story again, his origin story. The fact that Robin apparently had already died, like a ton of shit had already happened. But I was so was into great. seeing The Batman, written and directed by Bat and Ben Affleck, yeah. and seeing that and, and learning about Robin, because it was going to be about his death. Right. For well, sure. Yeah, right. right. The sh- and, and, and Joker would have played a, played a hand in that, and it yeah. would have been fucking great. Yeah. You know? And, and the, the fact that that's not happening now, now Matt Reeves from Kingsman is taking yeah. over, like... Like, like I think I think it'll be good, you know. But it's not what I was. Planning. It's sad because again, and yeah. and and in Justice League, not was even his little uh, after credit scene in uh, in Suicide Squad. He was fantastic when he goes up against Amanda Waller. Ben Affleck like doesn't get the credit he deserves. He's a good enough actor that he was really like you were like shit. Like this is great. So yeah. Ben Affleck is believe it or not my favorite live action Batman. Uh, my number one is Michael Keaton. Uh, because uh, like, like Michael Keaton laid the foundation for what Batman needs to be in a real life world. Uh, first of all, his his interpretation of Batman is the best ever. The fact that when he talks, he doesn't have to sound like this. Whether it's Ben Affleck or Christian Bale, the fact that when he talks, he's just like, "I'm Batman." Like, don't fuck with me. Like, really low. Almost like, almost like Kevin Conroy. You know what I mean? Mm. Which let's not let like Kevin Conroy probably like was inspired by Michael Keaton's version of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Since he came after Michael Keaton. And Bruce Wayne, you know, like, yeah, it, it was a little comic y, almost Mr. Mommy, you know, at yeah. times. You know, but 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 it's okay because like Bruce Wayne, it, 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 it's supposed to be the opposite of Batman. He's supposed to be quirky, he's supposed to be the playboy. Uh you know, he was coming on the Kim Basinger hard, you know, and Michelle Pfeiffer, and you saw that. And but then you saw serious moments too, like, like, like when he's in the Batcave, and 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 Kim Basinger comes down. And she's like, "Are we ever gonna live a normal life?" And he's just like, "I forget what he said." But he's like, "But I gotta go to work." And I'm just like, and he's just like, for "Real fucking just like he's dark, but he's still Bruce Wayne." And I'm like, "You're the fucking man, motherfucker." Mm. And so I like. Like Michael Keaton all day long. Like if they make a Batman Beyond movie, which they need to do in the next ten years, Michael yeah. Keaton needs to fucking be Bruce Wayne. That would be awesome. It would actually. be awesome. Everybody will fucking love it, and Michael Keaton would do a phenomenal job. You guys, if you want proof of that, watch the new RoboCop where he did a great job. Yeah. Watch fucking Amazing Spider-Man or yeah. whatever it is, Spider-Man Homecoming. You know. Sorry for the profanity. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, what? Sp- Spider Man. Spider Man profanity. That uh, profanity. Uh, homecoming. See, I got pro- homecoming. I got profanity on my. <laughs> fuck me. Right. Anyways, I think it would be a draw. Uh, I think that. I mean, you don't need Batman to draw more people, but I think Birdman. I mean, yeah. the founder, which was a great movie. Yeah. Michael Keaton is like he. He's having a renaissance again, yeah. and and he is just and it, you know it's it's because of RoboCop. He he broke back in from RoboCop. He took right. a little sabbatical and RoboCop brought him back in and he's great. Uh Michael Keaton hands the fuck down uh best Batman in my opinion. So, I, just, I I I I didn't put him at number 1. I put him at number 2 just cuz his Bruce Wayne. I just didn't think he hit it out of the park as opposed to Ben Affleck, which see, I think uh, Ben see, Affleck played both parts excellent. And, but I put I put Michael Keaton as number 1 because I because of the way he interpreted Batman and the and basically down to the voice. You know? The fact, the fact that, the fact that Tim Burton. The voice is what they can't get right. So the, the voice is fucked up, man. They, but at, at least they explained it better in BVS. Yeah. The fact that Christian Bale, where are the drugs? Yeah. The fact that Chris Nolan was good with that for three movies. Right. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Batman's voice was really distracting. Like horrible, fucking horrible. Well, how'd you feel about Bane's voice? I just want yeah, to the a lot of people are divided on that. I just, I just want to say that this is my voice. What'd you think of it? I did not like it. Oh, I did. I did not like it at all. I liked it a lot. I did not like my voice. Did you like Bane's voice? I like it. Yeah. Just because Maxi likes everything. He likes everything. He does not he not like, like anything. Did you like Val Kilmer as Batman? Liked him more than Clooney. Did you like? Did you like Clooney? Did you like? Did you like? Schwar- oh! Did you like Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze? No, too cheesy. Did yeah. you like Bane and Batman and Robin? No, hell no. He looked great. He did he look. He looked the part, but he was an ass. Okay, so 
So he actually didn't like George Clooney. He said a negative thing. No. All right. So 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 those are be- best best bat suit. Go. Just pick one. Best bat suit. Yeah. I mean, you go ahead while I think about it. No, I'm asking you right now on the cuff. Just go. I'm just gonna have to go with 89. You just said it was BVS. Yeah, but you're contradicting you're, yourself. You're putting me on the spot, man. I know. Come on. I'm gonna say 89. I changed my answer. So it's no longer BVS. I don't know. My mind flashed yellow. Uh, I'm I, actually, just, I saw yellow. I'm actually going to go with Dark Knight. Really? The most functional, realistic, made sense bad suit. Yeah. You know? I don't know. It's just that it's yellow. Like, <clears throat> yeah. yellow gets me, man. Uh, I, don't get me wrong. I love Batman and Batman Returns. I love it. I love it. But but uh, Bat- Dark Knight was uh, most practical. And I'm like, I'm like, that makes sense to me. I like that. That's a good Batman. Best Bruce Wayne. I'm still, I'm still sticking with yeah, I'm Ben Affleck for sure. I'm Christian Bale. He wasn't bad. He was good. He's good, and you want to know what? You want to know what? Hate on George Clooney. George Clooney's a good Bruce Wayne. He is. Don't hate on George Clooney. Hate on the script. Clooney's a great actor. Well, the director, the script, it, it, it's all fucking. Dude, photo phone booth was a good movie, dude. Ooh. How about Best he Alfred? Other good movies. Best what? Alfred. Jeremy Irons. Really? Best Alfred. Jer- I, like I like the guy in Gotham. Oh, nice. Gotham is definitely my favorite uh, album. Jer- Jeremy Irons, hands down. The fact that the fact that in that movie, Alfred is more than just a guy that makes food and cleans. The fact that he's the mechanic that works in the Batmobile and makes all the gadgets post Lucius Fox. Like, sign me the fuck up. Jeremy Irons does is the best Alfred. Hands down. So, to recap our list. Number three, Adam West. Adam West. Number two, Keaton. Ben Affleck. Keaton. Number one, Keaton. Affleck, this is fucking stupid. It wasn't, no, this wasn't stupid. This made sense. It's way better than our, what happened with that other video with the comic events. Oh, where we had the same list? Same fucking list. Pretty much. It's awful. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking crazy. Yeah, only our number ones were different. Our number fives. Our fives and ones are different, but four, three, two are the same. It yeah. t- made for a horrible vi- conversation. Uh, whatever. Okay, we agree. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. At least I didn't put. Never mind. We're not even talking about that. Anyway, so those are our, those are our, those are our Batman. Those are our Batman videos. Our best not Batman videos. Our best Batman Bruce Wayne combos. <laughs> Uh, for uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to Atomic Pop uh, by searching for Corker Comics on YouTube.com or just go to YouTube.com forward slash Corker Comics and subscribe to our channel. Like, share, do all that fun stuff. We appreciate the love. You can check us out at Corker Comics on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU in Miami or on Pines Boulevard in Pembroke Pines just east of University Drive across from Perry Airport. For Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corker. I'm Juan Frotch. Later.